The kids of Campbelltown catching devil's fever. Just a handful of the new club's tens of thousands of foundation members. Last night's launch of the name, logo and foundation jumper, a smash hit. The club had targeted 40,000 foundation members by October. As of this evening, 100,000 sign-ups at $10 each in the space of 24 hours. All for a team with no players, no coach, no home base and which isn't scheduled to even play for four years. Tassie scream now for a Tassie side. Uh, we're a proud footy state. Uh, it's just got to happen. The colours and logo, wildly popular. I think they're great and they're reflective of the history of um, Tasmania and what we're going to look like moving forward as well. Snarling, mongrel looking thing here, yeah, fantastic, loved it. The ownership and the passion that we as Tasmanians have got, it's, it's going to be a great success. The foundation jumper, more contentious, the use of the state map rankling some, the club today clarifying the jumper is a nod to the past rather than a finished product. It's a foundation jumper and now it's paying homage to, to the people that have walked the path before us. As for the devil's name, tense negotiations with media giant Warner Brothers until... When it got to the point of them understanding that the Tasmanian devil was actually a real animal, things freed up. The launch of the club comes against the backdrop of Saturday's state election. The Labor opposition wished to tear up and renegotiate the deal over concerns about the Macquarie Point Stadium. Grant O'Brien believes that the team and the deal is here to stay, regardless of who's in power in the coming weeks. The AFL have been really clear that, that uh, what's set out in the agreement with the government is, is, is what they expect will be delivered and so do we. It's not in jeopardy under my government and whoever is elected on Saturday is going to need to sit down and renegotiate that deal with the AFL. What's really important for us is that the club can be competitive and successful from day one and the stadium is so important for that so the licence is conditional on the stadium. The ultimate game of political football. Chris Rowbottom, ABC News.